Hello, I am Punya Mall. I am the product manager for iPrint. And in this presentation, I will cover iPrint 3 release features and talk about the business values this release brings forward. iPrint 3 was released in March of this year and brings in many features to enhance the print productivity of our customers. Let's do a quick recap of what iPrint is. Most of us would know that iPrint is a mature product evolving constantly from the days of netwear. It caters to the challenges posed by a fast-changing print ecosystem combined with various needs of an organization such as reducing IT costs, maintaining diverse platforms, simplified IT management. So, simply put, iPrint is the best platform agnostic enterprise print solution for customers who want a secure on-demand printing that works seamlessly with their existing fleet of printers. Now, talking about the features, iPrint features are mostly designed to solve challenges in heterogeneous printing environment for customers and make newer features common across all printer types. So let's take a quick look at the interesting set of the features which are part of these release. So the first feature is identity card job release. A little bit of history on why this feature. The introduction of printers enabling card access for releasing jobs is one of the most convenient features for an end user. All the user requires is an ID card for identification and then a held job is released onto the printer. However, for organizations with existing multifunctional printers or otherwise, the cost of adopting to this feature is high as printer upgrade is required in most of the cases. And without this feature, all existing printers are handicapped from using a card-based card release mechanism. This gap led to a creation of devices in market which enabled existing printers to use this feature. One such device is Ethernet 241 from RF Ideas. This device allows using your existing card infrastructure with the printing ecosystem. You can find more details for this device in the RF Ideas website. The release of iPrint 3 supports such devices, the first one being the Ethernet 241 and the second one is the ATC iPrint Reader from Apple's Technical Communication. This device also enables any printer to release jobs using the existing card systems of uh, your organization. There are several versions of the ATC iPrint Reader. Some of these models works out of the box and for the rest we are planning support soon enough. The challenge which our next feature solves has got to do with organizations finding it difficult to manage clients for their printing requirements. Installing a client for printing may not be suitable for organizations with lots of guest users. Although iPrint Client is a feature rich client, but the convenience of not having to manage a thick client and driver installations is good enough for big organizations with heterogeneous OS environments. With Quick Print, which is a web based printing feature, you no longer require clients or driver installation to print out your data. There are many advantages of Quick Print, and some of the obvious ones are driverless printing, user can print from any platform with web browser. Access controlled and audit supported. Administrator can enable and disable this feature categorically. And printer capabilities are fetched dynamically.
Now, Quick Print is part of a bigger change, what we call iPrint Portal. This brand new page is a boon for administrator wanting to control access and visibility of existing printers based on e-directory rights. Comes with a new set of controls for admin to fine-tune and customize the printer list based on each user rights. Some of the features are Quick Print Access Control, showing a subset of printers, finding your printers easily with a granulated search, share and bookmark printers, and this print portal is enabled for Chromebook. A key aspect of iPrint portal is controlled printer visibility. One being access control printer lists, where user needs to log into the portal to view only the printers to which he or she has access to. And the second is public visibility, where administrator can create visibility for printers which is open for guests. Next on our list is a feature which saves a lot of time and effort for our customers. Update channel is a huge relief for administrators who earlier had to patch all of their appliances using manual methods. Registration to the channel is simple and is very similar to OES registration process. All updates will now be delivered to this dedicated print channel. Single activation key is required for the future patches and features. There is a manual mode and a scheduled mode of update. This framework has notification and viewing capabilities. There are also updates to existing features, notably the LDAP import page. As you can see here, this has been substantially redesigned and has lots of bug fixes. There are new set of options such as providing alias name for LDAP sources, option to view last manual synchronization results, distinguishing between different LDAP sources, selective deletion of LDAP sources. This also supports the new card release attribute configuration and it has lots of bug fixes into this. And lastly, the iPrint extension for Chromebook now supports walk-up printing, bringing in the much required hold and release implementation into the Chromebook ecosystem. With this, we are at the end of iPrint 3 feature presentation. Thank you.